Well, I could. Uh, my name is Sima Sahar Zerhi. I'm uh, Premier Akiagok's uh, press secretary. Today is Thursday, February 3rd, uh, and we are doing another one of our COVID-19 uh, updates. Before we begin today, I have a couple of updates to provide uh, regarding these uh, press conferences. Starting next week, we will be transitioning to one COVID press conference a week each Tuesday at 11 a.m. We'll continue to do these uh, COVID updates in the chambers for as long as we have access to the chambers. As you know, the uh, legislature is going to be meeting uh, starting the week of March 7th. So we will not have access to the space at that time. Yes. Okay. People <laughs> Um, if anything urgent happens, we will uh, make sure that we find another way to connect with all media and Nunavu mute uh, around any of the public health emergencies. Uh, so be assured that we'll have other uh, ways of connecting with you uh, in case of a public health emergency. <laughs> And then finally, just a reminder that as of this weekend, we will only be sharing case counts Monday to Friday and not on Saturday and Sunday. Um, so today we'll have a very uh, short update from the Premier about uh, today's numbers uh, and then we'll hear from uh, our Chief Public Health Officer. Uh, we have a number of ministers available in the chambers in case there's any questions. We have Minister Gross, we have Minister Akiagok, Minister Nakashuk, and uh, Minister Juanasi. <laughs> Ministry at Minister Grass, Nakashuk, Amalo, Nunavu Iduane four hundred forty two million Nuva Nodzualain, Katitli with Aqua eighteen Uvo Nunalain at Toktosimayun, Avito Simadotri Manam, nineteen Akviane, forty four Hamanitua, thirty three Halututia, two Idurigaju, twenty three Sadlil, eighty seven Idurik, eighty nine Ikaluin, one Oksoto, zero Kimmeron. 14 King Ain, 0 Kugaltuk, 4 Kugluktu, 0 Nauyan, 8 Panuktu, 13 Mitimatale, 5 Kikirtadzua, 29 Kangatlinu, 9 Sanagaya, 21 Sanikilua, 36 Talodzua, and 5 Tikirtadzua. Katitliwilang <laughs> She would live in Narratigo Taco and Nuna Lane, um, Icayon Nitam, Tan Nuva Nozua Harasu Guvin, um, Tan Akahangito, Uhala Yawunato, Covid Hotline, Munata, you one eight 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 nine seven five eight six zero one, Am Angipasimako Yawusin, uh, Nuva Nozua Pidjutigo, 
especially um, our, our beloved elders that are listening in this morning. Uh, as of this morning, Nunavut has 442 positive cases of COVID-19. Uh, we have active cases in 18 communities. The reported numbers are 19 in Arvian, 44 in Baker Lake, 33 in Cambridge Bay, 2 in Chesterfield Inlet, 23 in Coral Harbor, 87 in Igloo Lake, 89 in Khalwain, 1 in Joe Haven, 0 in Kimmerun, 14 in Kingain, 0 in Kugatu, 4 in Kumlukto, 0 in Nauyan, 8 in Pannukto, 13 in Pondinland, 5 in Khikitabdua, 29 in Rankinland, 9 in Sanagayak, 21 in Sanakidua, 36 in Talotua, and 5 in Wayon Cove. Uh, we have 91 reported recoveries today. Uh, together, there have been 775 uh, re reported recoveries uh, in this outbreak. I want to remind Nunavumun of the COVID-19 resource lines that we have available. Please remember that the health and well-being of our communities is all our responsibilities. If you have developed symptoms such as a runny nose, cough, sore throat, fever, or difficulty breathing, please call the COVID hotline at 1-888-975-8601. If you are isolating because of COVID-19, you could call 1-888-902-0872 or email isolation supports at gov.nu.ca to access the government of Nunavut's isolation grocery hamper. Uh, for those with travel-related questions, uh, please call the Government of Nunavut's toll-free travel line at 1-833-524-0735. Once again, I, I would like to stress the importance of the vaccination. Please get vaccinated, uh, get your children vaccinated, and get your booster shot when you can. As always, continue to adhere to the public health measures. Uh, stay home when possible, stick to your small bubble, and always wear a mask if possible. Together, we could make our community safer for everyone. Sorry. Uh, good morning. Starting Monday, schools in um, Rankin Inlet and Avit will open to 100% uh, capacity. Active cases in both communities uh, continue to decline and the risk to students who attend classes is low. 
I would like to discuss the current approach to uh, COVID-19 compared to what was done during the or near the beginning of the pandemic. In 2020, we declared a public health emergency, implemented strict public health measures and set up the isolation hubs. This approach um, made us the last jurisdiction in Canada to confirm a case of COVID-19, but more importantly, it bought us time. Uh, time to prepare for vaccinations, to build testing capacity, um, and um, there's an error in the update. I'm just gonna ignore that last phrase, sorry. In 2020 and 2021, all of these factors combined with commitment of Nunavumiat to follow public health measures contributed to keeping cases low and outbreaks contained. Ola sakut nagajami pigialo ni ilit na abi kang sinong mi abya ni lo matuila ilo to 100% upagun na lodi. Taka ano ba joan aktuila ita makini nun nunalin ni katsin na kupalang in natuin na ngatamal ulo ulo ganalo ako ni ng ilit na akti ilit na ako ako naklar ni ino. Uha sa kahaw may yung arman na pili kaya siyo yung mino ba joan ako 19 kama giyaw tilugo tay ma pigialo si mamani. Na 2020 me, dalaw na sila sa mga tan na ham ng itulog ng motwa ng nakto ni Gailota. At ulo kit silota, tako an na ham ng itulog ng mumalit tao gailin na kamalo akit tao lutik tayo ko ato yung bibi ani daily view yung kanlo nani. Kaman na pili kaya si ulo kito king ulo pa ang ulo kiti lao kito ko kana tamin dalaw na abu si manibu no ba juan ng 19 taas si manibu. Kisah ni lebih marah untuk serta yang mampu berhampir sahul lah orang tak sebong lagi pun naik guna yang mud tak kuat kaput itu kilar ni inut ambalo kanu tiga kau yang sahul nak tiga tin tin inut ambalo tapi yang kapi sekat tan yang mud tuan itu tuan yang ambalo tuan itu tuan yang wan tak kuat kat itu inau lutik tak kuat sahul tiga lah orang tabu malik tak kuat lagi anak hamang itu lagi nombor ikan yang nak harsi mayu hati inau guna harsi mani inu nova jauh nak tak harsi mayu ambalo siang malu hati lilit senang mud. The best way forward is to follow current public health measures, including limits on gatherings and wearing masks, as well as getting vaccinated. These steps will slow the spread of COVID infections and bring the active case counts down. Um, otherwise, COVID-19 will continue to spread. Now more than ever, our actions and collaboration are the best way to reduce the risk and to lower case counts. Please continue to follow the public health measures and stay home and isolate when you sick when you are sick and please get vaccinated. Thank you. Temalaka na pang ule kuman na yok sibu mubia on na sinibut malita ulutik man na yuata yut ana ham na itule na mumalita huya yut. Ilagi ya ulutik isulad isulita beauty ta yo hatsi katigun na mangata ambalo mato asima in na hatamna ambalo kapiya hatalusi. Tama ko ay lo na tika ay masuk ka iligay at itsigun ng ata no ba juan nagtapal yay unik ang maluta ko katapal yay lo dekat si uningin kisay ni taman na siya mapal yay tuin nagahang ano na bu ila no ba juan nagtama ni sule ay maliman na pigil lang ng pangule ko kanu ilo gutis si katuju katigi ni silo ako na pang matulog ay nagtumite litit si ng mo tamalo at pasitit si kaso ang mo no ba juan nagtapal tuning Malit siya hatta si Usuli, ana hamang itulog na ang mamalit tayo kuyaw si Mayut. Ang ikaw si Mahatta Lucy, ang malanit tayo lahat ang Lucy, kanin magayigot siya, ang malokapiyaw Lucy. Ayan na may. No questions today. Jackie McKay, CBC News. Uh, my first question is for the Premier. Through the pandemic, mental health um, has been advocated as an issue. Um, some youth this week made a short film to highlight their mental health and suicide experience to make recommendations. You were invited to that event and you didn't go. Can you explain why you didn't show up? Tana Jackie McKay, CBC, Kurnik. Taman Napigi Alisanti Lugosama Paliani, Yusumalarin, Taman Najaki, Gutau Gala Lilangat, 
Thank you so much, Jackie, for the question. Uh, I think we all share uh, the importance that uh, mental health uh, is, uh, especially when the pandemic occurred uh, back in 2020. I think the significance that it's really highlighted uh, and the importance of that particular uh, issue has been exemplified. And I have been uh, very pleased in terms of um, the discussion uh, full caucus has had, uh, especially with uh, the protesters that did come uh, back in November. I think I've been very consistent that we did hear them and that as, as a new government, uh, mental health is a, a top priority. And when we came back from Cambridge Bay, that is one of the themes that has been identified as a priority of this new government moving forward. I very much look forward to sharing uh, the specifics uh, when we get to the throne speech. Uh, but I, I do want to just stress the importance that we all take mental health as a, a very uh, priority. Um, I do want to correct, I, I wasn't invited. I did not see an invitation come to me. Uh, I have seen, uh, obviously, the article uh, after, uh, but I just do want to correct that. I did not see an invitation to me specifically as a premier, so I just wanted to flag that. And obviously, any invitation I get, I do review very carefully. And I think in terms of the mental health being a priority, I would obviously uh, look very closely on, on that particular point. Uh, and very much look forward to seeing the short film that the, the youth have provided. So once I get the opportunity uh, to see it and then to engage with, with the youth as well. So Thank you. My next question is for Minister Gross. The IDA says many teachers at schools are in isolation following COVID protocols, leaving many classes canceled and there's not enough substitute teachers. Administrators are stepping up to teach classes. What can you say that you're doing to help fix this problem? Are you in conversations with the IDEA and the NTA about this? Uh, IDEA is uh, hello? Yes. Hello, Nelly Natal Rico Catimayani, O Hassima Matamal Nati, no Hatta or Hatasima Lotel Nati, Kitsang Wata, Malukin, King of Bertit Sahang in Mata, Ekana Yartino, Ekayota in the Mohatta Mata Hano, Taman Ekayo to give you a Kitoga Sako Lubi. One of the question, um, Ekaluit um, is at a hundred percent capacity right now, and the specifics regarding uh, teachers are um, not disclosed, but we have uh, substitute teachers in each community that are there to support our schools. And 
um, when the CPHO uh, puts in an exposure notice, for example, the department doesn't know the specific details because of confidentiality. Um, but we do have health and safety guidelines that each school has been following and has been using to support the safety of our communities, our schools and students. And we've been going through the pandemic now for two years and our students and teachers and the staff in the school have been following. Um, and I commend the students for adapting to changes that they're seeing in their schools. And our daily lives have all changed due to the pandemic. Um, there are procedures and policy for us to follow and wear our masks when we're riding the bus. Okay. Hoy na may ka ko yung halo nilin na be hundred percent ngani mati ng kita ng nagsimam mata ta ko yung nilin na at si J solo nalulun na tayo hatang ng mata kasi nung kika ko tayo mga kango na tulad na pijo tigil logo amalo nuna lilimani ta ko at yung nikingo bakte ka tayo nilin na at si J ngi pagum na ngi gay mata ta nalulun na ham na ngi tulad na J nalulun na si tigil logo katiya ka tayo na ka hatu minyo yunik tamak ko sa mga biyuto na ka elemino ni Tak kau tu selalu akan dalamin ati gu bukan gu nak tulur ni pejut tinggi logo atau agak hati yang ada ilin ni abin ni tak kau saya mau biuk lagi nuna leh ilin ni ati lo tak kau lo ilin ni ati ilin ni ati cijing ikhana ya tinggi lo tapi mah su su mula asid jok pula yang mau mah biuk nak sil pula saya mau nak sil mama tak inu si tinne tama nolu tama asid jok sistem ayam mario tinggi logo saya mau pula ni. So specifically for Iqaluit, um, we, we do have the, um, w the, the way that the DEA are, or IDEA for in this case can close the school is in consultation with the school principal and the Department of Education staff under circumstance that the school is, um, has low operational standards if there are short staff due to teachers perhaps isolating or staying at home um, in certain instances um, the school can uh, close this or the DEA can close the school depending on the situation and um, these decisions are examined every day and the decision to open the school back up for example will um, happen once there's clearance on clearance of what uh, to go back oh, okay to go back Ilin na tulog na mo kati mayeng inalo na sila matusigum ng mga ilin na binig ukakate halut ilin na biyang yok hangin ni tako at ilin na tulog ay kut ilaw kata ulutik tayo matusigat taon namin matasulo awla awla siyang ilaw alak pata tako ikna yaktikit salutik ang kasi matilugu ikna yaktingin tako ilin na tulog ay kut kati mayeng Matus kat tahun nangata kanu ilingan yang yuyu nuna lini malik tuit tak kualo ulu tama kimi kujau kat tak tuik amalo utek ni aku tuik tema utek kujau gum nak si malik tuik. Mati Sarve Radio Canada. My question would have been for Minister Main, so I suppose for the Premier. Four hundred and forty-two, or at least four hundred and forty-two um, active cases have been reported as of today. A lot of essential workplaces um, are running with smaller teams um, at the moment because of positive cases among their staff. Um, how are you dealing with these situations at the moment, and are you looking at long-term solutions to make sure that some workspla workplaces aren't left? With no resources at all. Matisse Harvey Radio Canada Kumnita Ko 442 Unirato Lutu, Nova Joan of Tulu Lumina Luna Tokoyo. Tako Iluna Ila Ilin Kanaya B. Matu Hat Ila, Matuina Yu Ilangi, Tako Ilangi, Ikanaya Tikis Satu, Kanutaman Nakamagina Kyo, Sivuni Satin, Tamako Kanaya P. Pitchotigilu. Mentana Apotia Valerie. Nalunya rumah tiada tunga, kanutungin nak sulit mati agak tak. Tak kuat luar nanti mereka nanti kau pijang waktu me 
Tanah Minister Ikanai Jatuh Lagi Nombor Minister Lightstone Kita Ni Asal Kita Semua Kita Ni Nalun Nai Kau Mati Apa Kau Pekan Ikanai Jatuh Kita Juga Kita Kita Ni Nalun Tak Perusahaan Kanu Kanu Pijun Nangi Kalau Mangat Tak Kau Atuh Lagi Jangi Tunga Vigi Kita Kau Atuh Lagi Jangi Maligi Aha Kita Kau Tanah Pijun Nai Nalun Tak Kau Ni Asal Kita Kita Tak Kau Ulwa Nai Tumi Kau Nati Kau Nuna Kau Mew Train I nasi uti taku tapa ngaga kat atas uti tahu ngaga kat atas uti nunale aji gigi kat tak ati jauh. So tak nasi kuarin nampat dia si majabu. Taku adu ikat uti sakit pat dia si majabu tu upi kita jatuhkan. Taku minister uti asal udah tak uti uluan nato mejati kanom. Uluan nak nato mejati jek uti sakit si mama ta angi uti sakit si majabu tu. Tapi nak upi kita jatuhkan. Si bunyit ini tan, kami kau ini nak kata kan, kanu kanu tu orang nak bunyit ini, gawat mau duta, ikat jauh mana kau tabah mau, nuna pun mau tu, uluan nak tu mau nak kata kan. Thank you so much for for your question, specifically in terms of what we're doing to our employees. I will have the minister responsible under the human resources minister Lightstone provide a more specific response in terms of what we're doing as a government. Uh, to employees uh, within the government. Uh, but I just, on a broader scale, just want to emphasize the incredible work the ministers have been doing, providing essential supports uh, to mobilize as quickly as we can uh, in terms of uh, allowing um, our assistance right across. And I think over the past uh, month and a half since November and de since December, when the first case uh, came up, we've been working extremely diligently uh, to do what we can there. And obviously, we very much work very closely with Dr. Patterson. It's the, through the public health orders. Uh, those are uh, directions that we base our decision on, and we're very thankful for his leadership in terms of navigating us uh, to ensure that we're as safe as we can be. And as we move forward, we'll monitor and uh, consider any options as we move forward uh, to alleviate any risks uh, on that. So perhaps I'll just pass the floor over to Minister Lightstone, who uh, will provide a, a bit more detail in terms of specifically what we're doing as a government. Thank you. Thank you uh, for the question, Matisse. As uh, we're nearing the two-year mark of our public health emergency, there have been many instances where uh, we've had to close uh, government offices um, for safety reasons. Uh, but uh, throughout every closure, uh, we've had to um, adjust our operations to ensure that we maintain minimum level of essential uh, services that are required um, through a, a number of methods, whether it be uh, essential employees requiring to, to work from the workplace or allowing employees to work remotely from home or uh, other uh, flex options. Um, so far uh, throughout uh, the nearly two years, uh, I don't believe that there has been uh, any workplaces which have had to uh, fully close uh, the offices due to uh, outbreaks um, and every office has been able to maintain some level of operations to date. Thank you. Matu yang harus ni atau agai matai mahal kecuali hatta tu kanu awalat sini yang mengambil surlu kena yang luti kena yang bini minyak baluang kasih malu di. Apa itu matu si mayu ni kena yang bini matu yang gaya hatta kalau si mangit tu tapi mah saya mah biu si mani ni pijut tinggi lagi. Kita ni awalat si guna nak si mayu gol lu memotam mana matu hatta matu matu yang hatta kalau aku lagi. My next question question is for the premier. Can you um, update us on the logistics around the recent and upcoming shipments of rapid tests and tell us how many, uh, what's the number of rapid tests for frontline 
workers. Uh, thank you so much for the question. Uh, the latest information I, I do have is that the shipments of the rats uh, for our frontline workers were delayed, and that was at the federal level. Uh, however, we've been working on the logistics, uh, if and when they do come, that we are ready, though. So that's where we've been working uh, extremely hard on right now. But there was a delay with the latest information I do have right now. So I hope to provide uh, more detail uh, if and when I do get in. So I apologize, it's not specifically uh, and not an update from the last one, but that's the latest information I still have right now. Okay. I'll just let you guys finish and then. <laughs> okay, okay. Um... Uh, Trevor Wright, none of the news. Um, as speaking of uh, federal help, have we received any more federal help with regards to this outbreak? Trevor Wright, none of the news. Come, the government of Hakuni, Ika Yoktao, Gale House, Harta Arabi, Hakani, and Gossikani, and Nika Yoktao, Smabisi. We are the main Trevor Tan, Upper Cote Javalu, Aka Tusakani, the Winata, Tusaro to get out of Voteco, Anne Suti Pingasuin. Amma kawi sato juan nine ngulau tu government tu kakunen ika jokta ugu tu kisima jabun kulagu kan nota kuwa kawi sakan ngutin kinen kina mumatuan ika jokta ugu tu kisima jabun mana mutikit tu ku kisian tusrek tusrekan ni jangun nata government tu kakunen ika jokta ugu kan dosa mangit tu ku mana mu thank you Trevor for for the question. Uh, the only request for assistance we did uh, request from the federal government were for the nurses that we've already identified in terms of the three that we did receive, uh, as well as the nine contact tracers. And those were requests that I received through the Department of Health, uh, which then we worked with uh, the federal government uh, to secure. However, on top of that, we did receive the, uh, the commitments in terms of the level three masks, uh, face masks, as well as uh, the rat uh, tests as well. Um, so we're obviously anticipating those, but beyond that, we haven't requested for any other addi additional assistance uh, at this point in time. Uh, next question is for uh, Dr. Patterson. Uh, since this topic got raised in the in the news and all that, um, I was just wondering if you could, I guess, explain what the differences are between pandemic, endemic, and I guess normal. Um. Pandemic is uh, an infection that is uh, spreading rapidly around the world. That's the most common uh, used definition of that word. Endemic um, is most commonly used to refer to an infection that's at a steady state and is um, typically always present at um, a predictable level. Uh, 
David Venn, Nanatsiak News. Um, I believe my question is either for the CPHO or the Justice Minister. Um, would we be able to have a update on how many cases there are at um, the jail? David Venn, Nanatsiak News. To sort it together, no manga, perhaps you'll manga, no lads even it. Sell my bills in my you. Queen me, Tasmina, put a carabin, Udlumio, ten Akiavin, Mammy Savit, ten to a Novana to a Tarsuni, Udlumimun, forty nine Mujin, Taco, Ekanayati, Amalu, take an eat, Tiguya, Tiguya, Man seven can we go near Sutin? Thank you for the for the question. So far, Akiyavi Healing Center is the only facility that have been tested positive within the facility. And to date, we have 49 that have come back positive, and there are seven recoveries uh, since uh, the p positive case was first notified in in the healing. Facility. Thank you. Uh, you've indicated previously that there is a um, an isolation wing in Akigarvik. Um, how many inmates can safely isolate in that wing? Thirding in need to be taken is Sutiman, Amalotako, Pilate Udlutamar, can read Padia in the Kano Akia, Akaroti, Akia, Simagati Utana, Idlu, Atoktavu, Namatia Simajonum, Tem Taku, Kano, Kudlari, Tiakong, Karasu, Tem Kiwagi. Thank you. And for for now, I don't have a specific exactly how many are are could be could occupy that particular wing that we're putting our our, our positive cases. But right now there are over 30 of them, and if it needs to be adjusted, and we're very fortunate that this is a new facility, that if we need to adjust any any more wings, that we'll, we we are prepared to do that. Thank you. Are you expecting there to be more cases? Um, are the PT PCR tests um, backed up, or are you all up to date on testing? At this, at this time, I'm confident that our testing is, is working and it's and I'm very thankful for the Department of Health for help assisting us in terms of getting the tests uh, done in a timely manner. Uh, as, as you know, our protocol at, uh, calls for 72 hour testing for each of the clients and staff, and we've been able to keep up with that. Thank you. Jackie McKay, CBC News. I'm just gonna ask this question because I'm not sure who wants to answer. Um, teachers aren't essential workers, um, yet they've been told to go back full time while other GN employees are still able to work from home. Can you explain what the discrepancy is? Jackie McKay, Captain Akaki, Langayangata, Quailin, now to Chizia, can I ever have a little in the ring it out? Uh, thank you for the question. Um, that is uh, a fair question to ask. Uh, and if I, if I um, recall your question correctly, you asked, 
whether or not teachers are uh, enlisted as essential employees? Well, my understanding is they aren't listed as essential employees, but they're going back to work while other GN employees are told that they can still work from home. So I want to know what the discrepancy is. Uh, well, first of all, I'd like to begin by, by stating that um, recognizing the fact that teachers do play such an important role in our society and they are greatly appreciated. And, and uh, I, I just don't want to um, uh, make it seem as though they, they are not appreciated. Uh, and with regards to uh, the current situation that we're in today, uh, the chief public health officer has uh, lifted public health restrictions, indicating that uh, um, governments are able to reopen offices. And uh, since the CPHO placed uh, lifted that restriction, the government of Nunavut has uh, reopened its offices, but um, have uh, encouraged uh, departments to limit the number of uh, employees that are in the workplace. Takwa ilu sariya usimani ili ne atutsi je huja gitse atakwa ino hati je ne kayo na halal khatanga ta ta ima huja gijau ni 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 na luna si mangi kalwa ta ma ta ima ulu mi kanu ilu ngal ne ngapi juti gilu kuta na na ham na ituli ri ma huja na sila ma malita huja usimani ta ima gawa maku Allah bingi matu ilu lau ku matu ilu ngal ta ne kisa ino kau juga hati tu ya kena ya ti sulang kasi magu nang daga ta ulu ta me sulu aku nagi kati hati tu. Thank you. Just to add a little bit of further information as to the specific question as to why teachers are still required to provide in class teaching. Um, that's uh, a bit beyond uh, my my expertise, but just want to uh, emphasize emphasize what the CPHO and the Minister of, of Education have have said previously is uh, it's uh, there's a, a balancing act that needs to be uh, maintained with uh, the decision upon in class teaching as opposed to remote teaching, and um, it is of course. Uh, the safety of, of children, students, and teachers is, of course, our top priority. Um, but uh, there is uh, negative negatives associated with remote learning. Um, so the decision uh, to continue within in-class learning really needs to take that into consideration. Uh, again, this is a bit beyond my, my scope, so that's all that I can say for now. Thank you. Lagi akan nerlu kita kau semua ini nak tercuci semua ini nak demi utar yang halam mengata ini nak tercuci atau lutik tak semua kau yang nering kita kalau angkat mana akit tahu semua mana hamna itu lagi yang mari murah malu menteri orang ini nak tu lagi ikut aku nale mugi tercuci akan mengata sama aku ini nak benda apa hatam nak mengata ubal orang tak semua lutik apa hatam nak mengata kesian ulu orang tu mesti Tayle ti cillo, tayle nerti, tayle nerti cilli nillo. Tay makau nangin nang nangin kasi malu tayle nerti tayo gunang nangin ita man nais malu ako tayo si mayot ilagi yao kata uloni. Thank you. Um, my next question is I'm not sure for who for, so I'm just gonna ask it. Um, the Nooksuk High School had uh, contact tracing done over the weekend. Um, are you able to provide an update on the status of that contact tracing um, and what led to it? How many students are out? Thanks. There was an exposure in um two cohorts of the, the same age group, uh, and that occurred earlier in the week before, um, but was only identified on the weekend. Staff at a, uh, 
uh, Callaway Public Health phoned uh, students or their parents uh, over the weekend, and we made the decision to uh, have them stay home for at least all of this week. And so far, uh, we have not. I sorry, as of Tuesday evening, we had not identified any transmission as a result of that exposure. <laughs> Thanks. I just wanted to follow up on something you just said there. I knew uh, students were asked to stay home, but the teachers weren't asked to stay home. Can you explain what the discrepancy is there between why teachers would be asked to monitor for symptoms while students are asked to isolate? In the circumstances that I'm aware of where the teachers are felt to be high risk, we do ask them to uh, stay home, same as other high risk contacts. Radio Canada. My question is for Minister Nakashuk. How many of your frontline staff is isolating at the moment, either because they have, they tested positive or because they've been identified as uh, COVID contacts? Matthias Harry Radio Canada kuni kako hatsi kina yakti tita mako inunni tako hatta to kiko tu inamni kina yangi la nova jo na ta sema mo ubaloni kati ya hatu inatu minuni inu. Kisian <laughs> Um Mako Pingasuloni um Inut Ila Kawi Magaria Kasamayui Amalang Asamaluti Kanani Grinnell office me uh Katike Kanayati Mana Takani to Te Mato uh Toktaus Mayokam Ningano. Kisani asing in Nunalini Upper Kutaka Manga Pinalo Yungate Kole um Kutit to me uh Thank you for the question. I'm not sure which office you're referring to, but for the Income Assistance Office here in Nakaluit, uh, there was some uh, COVID positive worker there, and um, but to date, the, everyone's back in the office. As for the social workers, of the family wellness office, there's been a couple of um, employees that have also been impacted with COVID and uh, a couple are monitoring. Uh, they have been monitoring, but there are outside supports in place as well from the regional office of Panoktu. Um, and for the Grinnell office, there are some staff that have been also impacted, um, but majority of the employees are working, some, not majority, but some of the employees are working from home and also monitoring. But for the communities further up north, there have been some supports in the Income Assistance Office from the regional office. Any idea on the specifics of the, these numbers you're referring to? The number of people? Yeah. Specifics of what? The number of people. You've said a couple, but... Um, 
Enu la ye kunne nga tu e teko a katil la reo manga ta nao na eru nangi ta kateko a le e kayo se a pe me kata tu e ma na e kana ya tingi o tuk se malak tu e. I can't get into specific specifics with numbers, but I could go back to that, um, get back to you on that. But for the income assistance office, most of the staff have been re like they're back in the office. But for the family wellness staff, I can't really uh, put numbers out at this time. Um, my question, my next question would be for Dr. Patterson. Um, last week, you said that you were not considering to let essential workers who test positive but are asymptomatic to um, continue working. Um, can you explain why it's more important to have these essential workers stay in isolation and um, instead of providing essential services? Can you explain a little bit more that balance? There's, there's very few people who work alone and can maintain that without exposing others. So if you have a, a group of five or ten people providing a critical service and you let one of them return to work when they are infectious, um, you, especially with Omicron, you um, create a risk where everybody in, the, in that group who's delivering a critical service will be sick and unable to provide that service. Hey guys, uh, I just, sorry, go ahead. Just a friendly reminder that uh, we want to make sure that we are protecting individuals' public health information and uh, uh, and privacy. Uh, and so please be aware of the questions that could identify particular uh, staff uh, in situations. Um, those, those are the kind of questions that make an individual vulnerable and could divulge in, uh, in sharing information about someone's health status that shouldn't be public. And just to add a bit more information, Matisse, when you, when, if I remember correctly, when we discussed last week, or at least my interpretation was in the context of those kind of uh, individuals, uh, like at, at elder centers and settings like that, there have been a couple of times where individuals who are positive uh, have uh, provided, have done some work, and it's been in very specific settings where uh, they're the only individuals who can do that work, and it, they've been able to do it without exposing others. Um, and, and without getting into too many specifics it's been times where somebody else drives a vehicle to outside their house they go out they get into the cab they drive do the work and then return and uh, it's done in a very safe fashion like that and only under very specific circumstances <laughs> So, we have to 
Ilang ilok na yat na hatas si mayumi ni umata magwati kaya na si mayuday ko alu ilang ilok na yat at unay pila kaya sa ngin ni kamag ay hatil lugit tan alupi yuk sa tulun ju hatil lugit ay ma ilok na yat ay hatil si hatagun na si mayut sa ulo ang ikatsaw tigit ay na hatas si nita ko alu ilok na yat bimino si ano jaga nita man nata nakte litik si niku ay ma Ikan ayak tu cakap tak guna semua yunu baju anak tak semua yu galuani. Trevor, right now about news. Have we any? Have we seen any spread? Any new transmission from schools reopening so far? Or has it been safe? Trevor, right now about news. Kau ni kau yang semua beli ni abis ni mati kan ni lah orang kata ni siapa mak beli yang halang mana? Uh, nothing yet. Uh, the evidence across the country is that um, uh, schools are a small are, are, a, are, are a smaller portion of the risk when you compare it to uh, the exposures that happen at home in social settings and outside of the school. Agasule. Uh, Kau ini nasib mayu tamani kan atau milih ni abe itu mak kuasa yang mak biung ini nasau kat tengah tengah sing ini suluang yang kasi malu ni balu ni kena yang bing ini. Tapi masa yang mak biung kat tengah ini nasau si mayu. Next question is probably for the premier. I'm sure I don't have to tell anyone about what's happening in Ottawa, but is there any assistance being offered to uh, any other organizations like your Kausovic or NS or um, any other organizations? To some of the people who are in the government, we 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 are in the Nous avons mis au camarade de main nos yeux dans tous ces rafles là où nous avons deux cailloux de canne comme un joueur de canne de canne qui s'est encadré mais je vous dans nous avons notre joueur canne de talima mais ça il m'a pas de l'année à tout ce matin le trigon sur tant qu'avec ma galère le trigon again thank you so much for the question right now um, the, our focus right now is on Nunavumu, uh, right across the 25 communities. Uh, we are aware that uh, Omicron especially has affected uh, every parts of Canada, including uh, southern jurisdictions where many uh, Nunavumu have relocated to. Uh, but right now, all our assistance and support uh, is directly to Nunavumu within the 25 communities that we do see, that we do serve. Mamiano. Uh, David Venn, Anatsiak News. Uh, I believe this is for Dr. Patterson. Uh, when can Nunavumi workers return to Agnico Eagle Mines? Which mine? Uh, Agnico Eagle. David Ben nun at sa kung nehanga nun na bumio kanayag kanero na lahay ni ko yung nagbiga nung I don't know yet. I know there are conversations happening about that, but I'm a firm date has not been set. Kau yung mga ito sule ta ko kau siu katapal na yung galaw kasi ani unlong ani na nalo na si mga ito. Can you speak to? what those conversations entail and what needs to happen in order for them to return? Um, it's a number of things, including um, the employer's comfort level with increasing risk of introductions to communities. Um, and I know they're looking at things like what the background level is, or what the incidence level is in the south, and the uh, frequency at which staff are arriving on site with COVID, um, and how easily they can prevent spread on site. Mm -hmm. 
Ajigingi to Lusur, Lohaluna, and Itako, Hanu, Tiki Hatap to the Kanaya thing it, Selma Bills in my unit, Hanu Tigi Hatamanga to Tamako is Maria. Um, we've heard that some contract workers for the mines have had little to no income during the time that people have been sent home. Um, is there anywhere that they can go for financial support? What can you say to these people? To Sassima Madako, a contract to Yakana Yakita Yuki, now just Sahuni Hatangatanga Sima to Inati Lubi, Kayuta Katamakunua Koyaname Atana Kutichava. Um you can minister Kusuga Saki Gumnalosum in Mataku, Mikitu Walwa, Kisan, Ika Yutu Gumnasim and Matanam and the afternoon, uh, Tan, um, Pivadia Yulajiko, uh, EDT Kutigo Tan Sakata Loman, and so to Sarahun Natu, a number and a half to take Kuna, uh, Hulagu Kan, a man, a twin Nakhtaham Natam. Uh, thank you so much for the question. Um, minister Kusuga, uh, did bring out a program in terms of the assistance we can provide to any business, small business or uh, medium or large in terms of uh, the assistance program uh, for companies that are directly impacted by COVID. So there is a, a process there for that particular program. But beyond that, we don't have any other uh, supports uh, outside of what uh, Minister Kusuga provided. Thank you. The last question. Um, Mathis Servi, Radio Canada. Just to follow up on um, one of my previous questions. Um, so, a few weeks ago, two weeks ago, a new COVID death has been reported. Um, your department, uh, health department, shared some information about the individual, such as the age, the status of vaccination of that person. I'm just wondering what's the thought process between times where specific details are shared and when it's considered unrelevant or too personal. What is Harvey Radio Canada Kurneta Kamako Pinas Hussi Nasimalino Gunito Halding and in Alunata Yohayu Matana Luki Analunata Lune Malokapios Mamma Kapios Mangi Mangaluni Hanotamakwe Lulingi Uhausi Hata of Naka Ilang Yohausi Gunati. Uh, thank you so much uh, for that question. I think I'll defer that over to the CPHO, Dr. Patterson. Thank you. Um, in certain specific circumstances, uh, public health, me, uh, we've made the, or I've made the decision to release some information that we would otherwise withhold uh, because it helps inform Nunavumiat about their personal risk with respect to COVID-19. In circumstances where it doesn't appear to give them any new or any information on their own level of risk, we tend to withhold that information. Thank you, everyone. That brings us to the conclusion of our uh, COVID-19 uh, press conference. We'll have our next one on uh, next Tuesday at 11 a.m.